Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But, once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. So wait, what the heck did Matilda waste her time then for? Because I thought her son was supposed to succeed Henry II, but now look, the sons took over everything. What a waste. Man, these royals. Are... I don't want to say dumb as hell, but like, look at all this. Wasted, li wasting lives, fighting and fighting. Look, now these four brothers, like... See history repeat itself with dumb as hell. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defenses, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and the defend Dover, the castle. Huh, if you've ever heard of that, uh... I know why it's strong. Look, look, it, it's like half the, uh, quite a bit of chunk of it is like impenetrable, right, by force. Uh, so right now, okay. Stay focused. Let's see what do we want. Okay, where I was lacking last time was... Where am I at stone soon? There it's our tree. Okay, we have to try to increase our...
over really quick. Right there. Right there. While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot known as Willikin of the Weald began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Shoot, we lost those horses. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. What are these guys? Patriots. Hester's an odd boy. It can do. Fails deeply on the spirit. Chiara Hester's. Oh my God! With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. They probably don't even expect to you know coming through there and there. This is a weird one. I don't know how to do it. And Sweetser, yes. Asteria, brave they are, way men. Step up to him, are way men. It can they do. Okay, so will it? Okay, we're just kind of microwing will. See they to work at. Men of armies, it's do a sword to Hestest. Wait, what's control group? We had stunned the experiment. Experiment? Stop. Yes, there's an order. Okay, we only got six more, so we need one prop of. So this is the last bit. After we get these archers, we can try to intercept that. Okay, let's go ahead and get a quick save in. If we were a little faster, I could have. I mean, I've been kind of going to test. Like, it's those engines. Let's just say that they might not have the greased wheels. Actually. 
Footman better, hard way, man. It's more yeah. yard. Footman better, hard way, man. Willikin spotted a group of English fighters engaged in battle with the enemy and rushed to their aid. Willikin's band of archers made short work of the French reinforcements. But if they hoped to ease the burden on Dover's garrison, Willikin's ambush force could not relent. I was hoping they'd already attack. They gotta keep going. You know what? My bad. I was stopping for so long. I didn't consider. This looks like a road here. I might be able to intercept that. Meanwhile, we'll gear up over here. I forgot about that. Nice using the movement speed with Lady. That's pretty cool. Bit of help, man. Yeah, I like how we have this little detachment. I like this micro right here for offense and then the defense. You know, they're trying to show you that English isn't all just freaking. So pretty much we'll have some coming this way and some coming this way. So if we st stick in the camp, we could probably get a nice middle ground. Stuff over here. Yeah, no, we gotta just play light with Will. Take Windler, Ferris, and Sweets, yes. to lead them into this bunch there, but we would reinforce this a little bit. Ooh, they're not actively hunting us, are they? Hope not. 
Oh, crossbow, R4, knights, maybe some air arm. So we got spearmen for the horses. Horses. We are fair and to two folk. My bad, you're right. I gotta keep this stuff. Uh... We have a steady to pay, two folk. Okay. You are ready to do some work. Huh? Hester, the Lord Lord. Send the man to me now, Ratkiss. Seem to make a work. Huh? Yeah, right to do some work. Ah, uh, yeah, I totally should have had those things repaired before all this went down my bed. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. Yeah, but thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly. You know what? Let's go ahead and just reload real quick. No harm in that because I. I should have put that. I was neglecting the castle. They invited the French to invade. Take advantage of it. Yes. One key fortification set in the way. Angered the interference. Yes. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Oh my gosh. I don't know that. Okay. Priority repair what we already have got. They could finish that in a minute. I hope so. Oh, they got a little cheater with them. It's nice. Any other little dudes? No. To make that upgrade, it's just I mean, we have enough time. 30 seconds, maybe. Hold up, this. See, they to work. Means better. Yeah. I got an idea. If I could have made the scout fast for me, we could have broken it up. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. But thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. All the brick walls finished. Perfect. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. To some work. 
Okay, we good. Finish that first one. Whoops. Okay, not too close to that detachment. Yeah, they look a little bit more defensed. A little bit more defensed. Not defensed. Armored? Not better. <laughs> How do you do this? Silent. Scout are you ready to read? Read at the port. No, let we'll meet soon. Bo and sweet one, yes. I strike from there. Who are just getting bonus? Nice. nice yeah, but what will Tommy chill? Oh, Mr. Monk, you're gonna have to. For another gun. Okay, look at those things aren't too bad. I think it's really badass that little, you know, <sighs> locals, you know, that would come, like, you know, like the underdogs, right? They're straight up, these Willikin look straight up an underdog right here. But his, this, oh, dude, yes. teamwork makes the dream work. Very cool. Okay, we got two on the side, so that's about how that'll knock, knock out the legs between. It can do. Pull the rug from under this. So, so we'll see. Okay, I thought I was gonna change route for a second. I'm like, what? But we would have been fine. Okay. Real quick, while that's going, how are we here? We have horsemen, we have men at arm. We could do more. Military Academy, everything will produce faster. Or that just work. We have enough horsemen. Okay, that scout. I made that scout. I'll tell you what. I made that little scout to help me stall for the upgrades to finish and the repairs to finish on the defensive tower for the wall. 
Yeah, I was just gonna send the scout out and just try to. It might have been mowed down quick, but. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he. Ch oh my god, they have a scout too? Oh, that's what the see, that's, that's, that's kind of not too different from what I was gonna do. But the scout was gonna try to. Oh, the longbowman would have picked him off real fast, but. If I could have just sent, like, sent the scout out right and just kind of slightly diverged them, you know, for a look. For a couple of seconds. <clears throat> I think this middle forest area is not near the either of the major roads, so we'll have them set up shop over there. French seeds, so I guess there'll be. Alright, so we have get through this attack. I want these lads. Damn, I know those. It sells stone. Six hundred thing of wood. Oh, are we actually getting wood? We are. But gotta keep those upgrades coming. But those time those four caves arrive. Yeah, Estes. On the stairs. Hestes cometh, our way men. Stepeth to it, our way men. Boa is the boot. Okay, we got our sprick wall placements, but you know what? I'd like. See, they to work. What they do, pay on bed and they so ahead. Okay, so we need. The RA to done some work. See they to work. Okay, mother. We should do that. Willikens archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Cross borders, threats at weapons. Here they come. Each 
Can I put these in there? No. Crossbows, Yara on the way, tender. Aim it low, crossbowers. Crossbowers, stir it yourself. If they're ready, crossbowers, Yara, fork got something to shed. Wherein, I'm blending our ilche. Safe day to work her. Oh, my bad. I forgot about Willikin down there. Okay. Oh my gosh, what it was I thinking to my player move right there? He doesn't really fight, huh? So. This is a long connection, but. It's, not, it's fun. I think I, I like this break. This is meant to teach us, you know, like. Close over there. But we gotta be able to pick up the pace because they're gonna be able to. I have a feeling that. I would have thought they'd pick up the pace by now. But... And they got gold there, so I've been pushing this area. They were defended by high cape, highly capable troops. Yeah, checkpoints set up too. Okay, we went over there and they saw us, so maybe because of they had hill advantage and maybe a scout. I don't know if scouts have any more addition. But the hill advantage gave them vision that I didn't think they had. I didn't have the vision. They had the vision that came after them. That's why they had Back at camp, you know, we could start getting some. These bad boys, huh? I don't think it's too early. We get some knights. And we'll have a thing of knights to go pounce on siege units out and go meet them in the field. And then crossbowmen we're pre are prepared for any kind of high uh, armored clad units that are in siege towers that do end up making it so the siege towers we might just let those move on because if you destroy it i don't know if it kills the other units inside of it or if they'll just spill out or if they'll come out damaged honestly thinking maybe should they just i guess on one hand i'd like them to just get kaput but then it kind of just makes sense that they might not all just die so at least like that Okay, send them back. 
What was that? Those little bits of gold. I guess we could go swipe it. Maybe I'm. Whoops, just one. Crossbowmen are five. Do we have a four? No. Damn, this thing pumps them out pretty fast. Maybe I should have the little monk too for healing my units. Healing rate of religious units. I like that. We'll get one just for now. Oh, I like this. I like these little detachment of knights. Sometimes just having a few higher tier units, that's just. That is nice, huh? That's just the bread and the butter. Okay, no, so longbowmen, that's the bread. No, longbowmen are like essential for this strategy. Cheap long range infantry with good damage versus unarmored targets. You could also construct palings to fend off cavalry charges. Slow movement speed, counter by horsemen. So give the cavalry to make the longbowmen less less um, susceptible, right? To the horsemen. They still have palings. I don't know if all longbowmen have such a feat. Revive leader. Oh, Countered heavy armor, countered by spearmen. How do I? How many am I looking for? So we got seven, eight, nine, and maybe. Bigger hubs, it's, uh, it's kind of nice. Oh, I think we do. The combined grit of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. That's the final one. I forgot we had started off with it. Actually, this is that moment where we send this one out.
that's that's the end of the Okay, we had those cusp prepared. GG. The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikan's fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands. Yeah, Willikan probably get knighted for the service. Look at that. A perfect see look having a little cliff detachment they gotta route route them have some melee here to intercept them delay them we're on a roll right now